What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to show you guys a transmission mount that I made to get the NVT850 mounted up in a 2G non-turbo DSM chassis. Before I show you the mount, I do want to say the welds are really boogered up. This is not the final mount. Um, this was a mount that I made just that way I could get measurements off the car um, for the next mount that I make, which is going to be the final rendition. And the reason the welds are really bad, we had trouble out of the regulator. It came with the, uh, the welder and... Um, a lot of these are gas welds without argon on them. Uh, we'd get argon flow for a little bit and then we'd lose it. Um, and it was just a lot of things going on. But anyway, here is the mount. As you can see, like I said, the welds are absolutely terrible. Now, this is just a rough draft of the mount. That way I can take this off the car and then I have measurements. I don't have to be right at the car. This is a Honda Civic transmission mount that has been cut up to work for this. It was originally this mount right here. This is another one. It's the Honda Civic mount, which uh, or Honda Civic uh, B series transmission mount, and um, that's what I'm going to be using to mock everything up. Now, the reason I have the turbo manifold, everything on the car, and the turbo and the intake manifold is I wanted to see how everything was going to fit in the bay. The only thing that I don't really like is I honestly would like the engine lean back just a little bit more. But it's really not hurting anything realistically where it's at. When we work on the car, uh, drag racing, something goes wrong. I do like the fact that I have a ton of room to get to everything. Honestly, this thing fits better in the bay than the 428 did. I, I, I kind of feel like this should have been the motor to go in the car. Um, this would have been a perfect turbo counterpart to the 4G63. But it probably would have been a, an economy version at that point. So... Um, I'm working on the engine mount now. As you can see, I've already got uh, one of the, um, this is, I guess, what would you call this, the, the dowels or whatever that's going to mount to the plate that I'm going to make. Uh, so I'm just kind of testing how long those need to be to clear this. I got another one cut back there right now. Those are two and a half inch. The bottom one is the one that's going to be the longest. I think it's going to wind up being like three and a half, maybe three and a quarter. Uh, then we're going to take a piece of plate, weld that plate on, and then this feller. It's going to go down there and it's going to weld onto that plate. Um, it's going to need quite a bit of plate to get it to where it, it's going to meet that, but we will get it there. Anyways, this is the, as far as we know, once again, the first four or SRT4 in a non-turbo or really any DSM chassis for that matter, as far as we know. I know a lot of people put the 2.4s, the EDZs, and, and I've seen a couple of people actually put the SRT4 engine in, um, but we are the first to put the NVT850 paired up with it. Um, and a lot of people want to know why I chose to do that. Why is that a better... One of the biggest reasons that this is the swap that I wanted to go with, if you haven't noticed, BC and a bunch of other companies have stopped making performance parts for the 420A. And you really can't modify it for the power goals that I want to make out of it. And honestly, the power goals I have in mind for that, it's really not a good engine for it anyway because they don't like making power. Now, as far as the transmission side goes, we're gonna clean all this stuff up. The 428 came with the NVT350, which is pretty much the little brother of this. Does it come factor with an LSD? This is a LSD trans. It does have the Queefy um, LSD in it. So anyway, that transmission has so many people that manufacture parts for it. This one's gonna become a Liberty Gear dog box. This engine right here is getting Wiseco boost line rods, Wiseco pistons, a fully um, max effort ported to polished head by all motor mic with an all motor mic center feed intake. Um, everything else in that engine is going to be BC with a one millimeter oversized valves. Honestly, we should be able to make a thousand horsepower out of this thing when we're done. That is my goal. Um, honestly, 90% of the time, though, we will keep it under that on the track, but when we need it, we have it they're available anyways guys this is the video i wanted to give you guys an update i know last time i kind of showed it i didn't say a whole lot about it but i want everybody to kind of know what's going on and this is going to be a long process and one of the biggest reasons i'm not videoing the process is because realistically i don't know everything that i'm doing i am learning as i go and in order to make a video i mean you're talking like a 20 30 minute video this lab, this motor or this transmission mount took me literally a day and a half to get right. Um, so many measurements that need to be made before you do anything. And this is still not the final. That This one's still not done before I make the final one. Um, we hope to get that done very soon. 
Um, I'm going to hopefully, like I say, finish this up next week, get started on the motor mount next week as well, even though I'm kind of started on it now. And then once we get that done, I will work on the third mount that's going to mount to the cross member and the div cover of the transmission. Anyways, that's going to be the video, guys. I wanted to make sure you guys had an update on this car and what's actually going on. I still haven't done anything with the cage. Once again, I'm getting a professional to do all that and install that. I want to make sure this, this car is safe. Um, yeah, it's just going to take a while, guys. This thing is a money pit, money pit, money pit, money pit. I mean, literally, we're going to be wrapped up about 30000 in this track car when we're done. So anyways, guys, this is the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and... Hit that notification and send as much help as you can. And there we go, guys. Anyway, we will catch you next time. And if you